What's up guys, it's Reeb Suess here, and today we're going to be installing WordPress on CentOS 7. I'm going to guide you through the whole process here. So the first thing you do is install Apache with yum y install httpd. Hey, and then we have to install PHP. We're just copying from my own guide here. Uh, you install the CentOS release SCL, then you install all the relevant PHP packages, including MySQLND, so PHP can work with MySQL. And we have to do some sim, sim links here. Uh, for some reason, the, uh, the, the package that's provided uh, by Red Hat just doesn't work out of the box. So I've made a little how-to to kind of fix that. And really, uh, it's really easy just to copy and paste. You're just sim linking everything uh, to the main Etsy HTTPD modules uh, directory. After that, restart HTTPD, right? We're gonna restart Apache. Okay, and now we're going to install our database. We're going to install MariaDB. Okay, so just a yum y install MariaDB server. And as we're waiting for it to install, yes, after we want to run MySQL underscore secure underscore installation, and it does exactly what it says. It goes through and asks you a bunch of questions that will help secure uh, your My, MySQL server. Uh, basically, it's going to uh, just remove the anonymous access. It's going to remove uh, the test account and database and all that other stuff that really shouldn't be there uh, by default. Okay, you also have to enter your current root password if you have it. Uh, obviously at this time though, you're gonna hit enter because there is none. So we'll just hit enter. Okay, you say yes to set the root password for MySQL. Don't confuse that with the root password of the server. Uh, so we'll enter the new password twice. Okay, yes, we're gonna remove the anonymous users. And we're not going to allow root login remotely for security. And really guys, in production, you would want to actually firewall your server off. Okay, so that's it for installing MariaDB. Okay, now we have to enable uh, the services on boot. Okay, so we just use systemctl enable httpd and MariaDB. We're also going to disable firewall D. And once again, for production, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but just to make sure nothing is blocking uh, Apache uh, or MySQL, we're just going to temporarily uh, disable it. But once again, in production, you would just want to add the relevant rules to the firewall. Hey, now we're going to disable SE Linux. Sometimes it can block certain functions, whether it's uh, PHP uh, or even Apache and access to some stuff. So we're going to disable it. Uh, we change this file here and just uh, set it to disable and save it. Uh, what I did a second ago, the set in force zero was actually disabling it uh, live and editing the file is just making it persistent. Uh, so our next step here is to create the database. We enter our root password, right? MySQL-U root dash P. And now we're in here, and so we're just gonna say create database and the name of the database that you want to use uh, for your WordPress. So we can call it whatever you want. It should have something meaningful to it so you know what it is. Okay, and next we actually have to create our user. So I'm just gonna use grant all on realtechtalkdb. Hey, now we're gonna quickly download and install WordPress. I'm just getting wget before we proceed there. Uh, we don't have wget, it's not really easy to download stuff remotely, so that's what I used, like to use to download stuff. Okay, so we go on the WordPress site here, just wordpress.org download, right? And you just get the latest.zip. Also, you might have to install uh, the unzip uh, package to be able to unzip it. Okay, and now we're gonna copy the content of WordPress, all of it, and put it in a present working directory. If you look, I've I've uh, switched over to var triple w html, which is the root uh, document uh, root document folder for Apache. And so all we have to really do to get going now, we need to copy the wp config sample.php and just change it to w wp config .php. Uh, we're also going to do a ch own apache.apache, .apache, so user apache group apache on the var triple w html directory. That way we don't have any issues accessing files uh, because it's running as uh, the apache user, so we can actually write files. 
Okay, so here I'm just copying and pasting my database info. Um, if you don't have it handy, it might be a good thing to do. I left a comment in there. You change DB name to the name of your DB. In my case, it's Real Tech Talk DB. Again, just using VI here. Okay, then next we go to DB user, right? Change it to the username that you defined, that you created, that has access to the database that you granted all to. And then also use the password. Okay, that's all there is to it. You can see I uh, leave DB host as local host. Okay, one more thing. I want to have SSL. So I'm just going to install mod SSL and restart Apache here. And that's going to give us um, SSL uh, by default. All right, it's going to be cell sign certificate. So it's going to complain uh, when you go to the URL here. Mine's just local host. And I'll just say accept the risk and continue. Click on continue. I just chose English. Enter your site title, username, password, and your email. Okay, so it should be successful. You log in after that. And from here, you can uh, browse to the uh, top there where it says uh, plus new. You can make a, a brand new post. And from there, it's pretty straightforward. Eh? It's just like any kind of um, normal kind of web editor. Uh, very easy now at this point uh, to get going. So that's all there is to it, guys. I hope that's been helpful. Happy blogging, and I'll see you guys next time.